After World War II, the United Nations was set up. One of its early tasks was to help refugees in Europe using aid money. Over 70 years, that remit has grown hugely, and so has the cost. In 2000, the cost of managing all the world's humanitarian crises was $2 billion. Now, it's $25 billion. Even in real terms, that's an incredible rise. War is a huge factor. 80% of today's humanitarian effort now goes on helping people displaced by long-term conflict rather than disasters. Despite being intended as a temporary status, the average time spent as a refugee is now 17 years. Someone displaced at the end of the last century is probably still unable to go home. And over 80% are refugees for over 10 years. The movement of Syrians and others to Europe caused major political upheaval, but migrant and refugee numbers are much higher in countries next to warring neighbours. In 2015, the International Rescue Committee estimated that 60 million people in total are displaced around the world, with 42,500 people on the move every day. The UN is gathering this month to talk about it, but one major emergency charity has already pulled out. We no longer have any hope that the World Humanitarian Summit will address the weaknesses in humanitarian action and emergency response. For others, the entire system of humanitarian aid has failed so badly, it's time to rethink it completely.